Hi, my name is Vibeke and welcome to Diving Dogs Crochet. Today I'm going to show you yet another edge tutorial. And if you want to see all my other edges, then go ahead and check out the playlist on my channel page. So today's edge will be the chain wave edge. This is a very beautiful edge and it looks really difficult. But to be honest, it's not that difficult. It's time consuming, yes, but it's not that hard. You can just follow my instructions and then you will be able to do this. So let's begin. I just made a row of single crochet and I will want to turn. So I chain four to turn. One, two, three, four, then I turn. And then I skip five stitches. So I skip the four chains I just did. And then I skip the next one. Then I work a double crochet in the fifth one. In the sixth one, sorry. So yarn over, insert the hook in the sixth from your hook. And then double crochet. Then chain one. Then we skip the next stitch down here, move on to the next one and double crochet. Then chain one, skip a stitch down here, move on to the next and double crochet. Then chain one, skip one and double crochet in the next. So just repeat this all the way across, chain one, skip one, double crochet. And this is row one. So now we will begin row two and we start with a chain one and then turn. And then we work a single crochet in the first double crochet. So this is your first double crochet and you work a single crochet into this. Then we chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Then we skip the next double crochet and then we work a single crochet into this double crochet. So just insert the hook and single crochet into this. Then we chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Then we skip the next double crochet and work a single crochet in the next over here. Repeat this all the way across, chain five, skip a double crochet, work a single crochet in the next. And this is row two. So now we chain one to turn. Then we skip the turning chain and work one single crochet in the first stitch. And then for this row three, we will work seven single crochet into each of these chain arch. So insert the hook directly into this loop and single crochet. That's one. You will need to work seven single crochet into each. So one, two, three, seven. When you worked seven, you just move directly on to the next one. You don't do anything in between. You just do seven single crochet, then move on to the next one, insert the hook and continue seven single crochet into this one. And then just continue with seven single crochet into each loop. And then at the end of this row, you finish with one single crochet in the final stitch. So finish off with one single crochet down here. Okay, so to turn, we now chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we turn the work. Then we skip the first four single crochet. So this final one counts as the first one. Then one, two, three. And then we work a single crochet on top of this bow. So up here you work one single crochet. And then you chain three. One, two, three. 
Then you skip the next six single crochet. So three over here and three over here. And then on top of this next bow, you work a single crochet. So insert the hook and then single crochet in this top. And then chain three, one, two, three, then skip six single crochet, one, two, three, four, five, six, and work a single crochet on top of the next. Continue like this all the way across. And at the end of this row, you finish with a chain two. So one, two, and then you do a double crochet in the final stitch down here. So yarn over and insert the hook and double crochet. And then you finished this row. Then the final row, we will begin with a chain one. Then we turn. And then we work a single crochet in the first stitch. So skip your turning chain. Do a single crochet in the first, then chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we work a single crochet in this space down here. So just insert the hook in the space and work a single crochet. And then in this next space, we work a single crochet directly into the space. Then we chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we work another single crochet in the same space. So just insert the hook yet again and work one single crochet. Then we move on to the next space, work one single crochet into the space. Then we chain five, one, two, three, four, five. And then we work another single crochet in the same space. So insert the hook in the space and work a single crochet. Then chain, nope, not chain five. We work a single crochet in the next. And then chain five. So up here on the final row, you work one single crochet, then chain five and a single crochet. Then work directly onto the next one, one single crochet, chain five, and a single crochet. Then a single crochet, chain five, and a single crochet, okay? All the way across. And the final chain down here, you will fasten in this chain on the bottom. So just insert the hook directly into the chain, not in the gap. So that's it. So let's turn it and see the right side. This is how it looks. Very, very beautiful itch. That's it for me today. I hope you found this tutorial easy to follow. If you did, please press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you again soon.